I'm good. Okay, when we last left off, you guys were following the blood trail, and it ended at a certain point, and it had general direction where to go. That's where we last left off. You guys, are, you guys had the Cerro Skull, which showed you an image of what happened, showed you the mysterious figure wander off in the direction where the blood trail is. So we are following the blood trail. What ends at a certain end point? It. You're at the end of it. And what do we see? But you see the end of the blood trail, but the general direction of where it headed. You just see it end. Cool. And if I remember correctly, uh, Ancius tried to locate the possible direction where the Mechanicus would have uh, went to, and he saw nothing. Yeah. It's also nighttime, just so you guys know. And your right. senses are fucked up, so. Right. So, so you're aware. Are your your helmets? Mm -hmm. I'd say we just follow that follow the direction of the blood room. Like okay. even though it's well, it ends, but it points us to a straight path. Okay. It, just, it gives us a general direction to follow. Then we shall follow. All right, you guys gonna be tracking along the way, or yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. investigating. All right, go ahead, and give me three rolls of each. Three modifiers. Uh, minus ten. So three rolls each, or whoever yes. three rolls of whoever can track the best. Oh God, it's not. Not this guy. He's like, oh, I'm lost. Uh, maybe this way. Ah, uh, maybe that way. No, nah, nothing. I don't see nothing. You guys see nothing. Long <laughs> you guys are falling oh a straight line God. path. Oh, good. So, yeah, we'll do three each, I guess, because you guys are going to need it. Yeah. I rolled even. Even. Oh, God damn it. I keep on. Wow. Oh my god. Oh Y'all find nothing. Moth, he kind of sees like uh, um, what he thinks might be a footprint. <laughs> but, uh, wow. With his zero. Oh my fucking god. So, Moth, you think what you, as you guys are walking through, you think you might see a couple footprints, possibly, still heading in the same direction you guys are pointing at. Are you guys, uh,. You guys have a point in mind you guys be looking for in the distance? Well, we're going to be looking Shelter, for mountain the... mountain range, caves, buildings. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me navigation. We're also looking for anything that you can uh, hide and recover. Yeah. By the way, dude and moth, you, you're going to want to change the... Uh, All right. Change your character. Yeah. I thought I did that last time. Do I have to do that every you time? You can do it every time, yeah. Yeah, every time you gotta do it. But you can do, if you do in your character sheet, it will it'll fix it. it. Yeah. The navigation surface. Okay, so our rolls are dog shit today. God damn. We forget well, the I'm bad ones out of the way. Does everyone roll for navigation or only? Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone can. You guys are trying to navigate uh, towards the direction of where you think he might have went to. Thank God. <laughs> hey, you guys are just hoofing it. So can uh, I modifier. use a fate point to try and navigate better? Or, I don't know, I guess track Should we better. use a fate point to just succeed once? Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Oh my point God. To burn a fate point. Let's do that. I'm gonna burn a fate point. Okay. So you know generally you're going the right direction. Boop. 
you guys you're heading to be taken. You do see additional footprints you can you confirm with moths all. So you're like, yes, this is more than likely the way this guy went. Great. What Maybe happens we when we get there? Uh oh. I'm going to tell you along the way what's going on. So as you guys are going through, you guys come to a ravine. Let me get oh you boy. all sit. Ark in here. Damn. Let's see. We need... Our, our sensors are really malfunctioning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've seen this terrain before. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me make sure this is that I had this correct too. It's just that that um, pod is different location. It, it's the dark for me, by the way. Uh, what was your correct name again? Karnoff. Karnoff. Okay. Tried to reload, but did not. And this will be in the background. How do I do what? Uh, the image again. Chat and the, at the bottom is as I don't like select your character name. Oh. There you go. Oh, I didn't. There you go. Perfect. I I feel stupid. Okay. I feel a little bit stupid. <laughs> All right, uh, can we make a perception check? Yep. All right. For all of us? Yeah, you can. And I'll uh, see what you see in this ravine. Oh, God. Straight perception or awareness? Or... I rolled a 97. Tech Marine, 97. Perception. Uh, all right, where are you at? Where, where's your character at? So, uh, real, real quick, are we using just perception or are we using... Uh... You can use a wider too, So your character is looking backwards, and it's this nice rock. He's like, brothers, I see nothing. <laughs> I'm also looking at some rock behind us. Okay. So uh, you all see some fortifications in the distance. Imperial Guard fortifications. You probably check for any traps or... Ambush. I will follow our uh, apothecary. Is this apothecary? Oh, yeah, this is apothecary. So, is this. Um, how do I double click again? Or. Uh, upper left corner, you'll see select mode, and then you can double click. Like that. What are you looking at? On the top left of the map. Um, that's a elevated, right? Yeah, or is elevated. That... It's okay. a ravine. So you guys are elevated. You guys are looking down into this ravine. You see bunker, bunker fortifications. Yeah, you see another tractor-like vehicle. Mm-hmm. Any enemies or... No, we don't see anything. You guys don't see. You don't see anything as far as you're aware. Do you have any skills for trap searching? Or what's that called? What would what would that be? I don't know. I thought we did awareness. I thought we did awareness last yeah. to see if there's anything weird. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can I roll tech use to check for traps? Sure. Yeah. All right. Modifier. Uh, ten. Get plus ten. Ten. All right. Hope for awareness. I will. Twenty nine. Okay. Uh, you know there's some landmines in the ravine here, as you're searching through. Brothers, there are some landmines in the ravines here. It's not in the uh, main area over here. It's uh, I'll I'll draw your character. Roughly where they're at. 
So let's avoid those. Go ahead, roll a perception check, all y'all. Perception check. Modifier? Uh, ten. Oh, God. Ten. Does this involve hearing? Yes. Ah, there's another plus ten. <laughs> oh, right. 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 Uh, I guess I should have succeeded then in my room. That's right. He's opened up a book. There we go. All right. Mr. Rules Lawyer. No, I'm not a rules lawyer. No, I know. Fun is... So you guys hear kind of screeching in the sky. It's coming from above you. In the sky. Mm -hmm. Okay. Directly above you. Screeching uh, in the sky us. with diamonds. As I can do nothing about the screeching in the sky, I will proceed to uh, stand close to my apothecary. Ooh. Can we uh, roll to see maybe what that was in the sky making the screeching noise? Yep. Uh, like a Xeno? Was it Xeno lore? Xeno lore. Uh, you know they are uh, Skrikes flying. Right. Uh, yeah, those flying hermagons, essentially. Mm -hmm. They're essentially flying hermagons. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, okay, so they'll probably kill themselves in landing. They'll land directly on their landmines, brothers. Can we, like, bait them to land on the landmines somehow? Uh, do we hear them approaching? Yeah, you hear them approaching. You, you also oh, you see them. We already see them. Yep. Okay. Do you know? Do we know how long it'll take for them to arrive? Uh, a few seconds. Oh. Can oh. I discover the the bunker or that structure is like? Uh, is it abandoned or is it like still in use? Can I see it from here? Yep. From this distance. You can see, you can see that there's possibly signs of battle in this area. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely it's still intact, as far as you can tell. Mm -hmm. You're gonna make your beeline to that. Brothers, what should be our course of action? Uh, sure. Might as well just sprint for those. Yeah, that's yeah. anything going wrong with this fight? <laughs> In the elevated air area, the flying hermagons would just get get us. To the bunker, brothers. Oh yeah, you can move your own characters. You just hear screeching as it gets louder and louder and closer to you guys. You just have to cover shoot these things. As you enter the bunker, you, you can see there's definitely gun portholes all around. So you have a 360 coverage of just shooting. So we're in the bunker now, is that it? Oh, yeah. You got there just in time. You're way faster than these things. Nice. Is there anyone in this bunker? Are you looking around first? Yeah. Okay. Uh, awareness check. Five. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. <laughs> so the Blood Angel, um, he notices a giant hole, uh, that popped into the bottom of this bunker before you enter. We have a bloody hole. There's a hole there. Giant oh. hole. Right. And you can see a warrior's screeching his way out to you guys. Oh, since no, you don't. Since, since your roll is so nice, Moth, you're able to see that before it gets to y'all. Can I slap a crack grenade on his head before it gets up? Uh, sure. Are you able to seal the hatch? It's a giant hole that's created by the bugs. Just mm. 
he's like he, he, as you guys are scrambling and coming in getting ready to fight these hermagons or flying uh screech off he's it, mom's like oh damn there's a giant hole <laughs> oh damn yep. also we can't we can't block it ah uh, it's like uh starship troopers you know the giant hole through the base mm -hmm. type of type of affair there's it's over there in the corner mom saw it before he crawled up so go ahead toss your krakenade Okay. How far away is this thing? Because is this like a... I can just slap it into its face and push it out? Or is it more of a... I gotta carefully... throw it at it to not hit the bunker. Uh, let's see. But, let's see. You, you guys are just entering the bunker, so we can say you guys are... about 10 meters from it. So you, can, oh. you, can toss, you can toss it. All right. I mean, without any difficulty. Oh, well, not much difficulty. So if you're trying to do a specific aim at it. So I get, give you a minus 10 on that throw. Ooh. Okay, do, oh, you, damn. do your damage. Oh, oh man. Man. Goodbye. What is his armor? 18, right? Mm hmm. Six pen on the uh, grenade. Oh. oh. So 15 damage. Oh, so 15 damage. And that hit was an 8, so. 80, so leg. Okay. Yeah, it's hurting. Should we blow his leg oh. off? <laughs> See leg of loss? Uh, may okay. I able to? Am I able to charge it after getting, or am I not that aware? Uh, well, you, let's see. What one was yours? Karnoth point nine. Uh, you can take an action before it does anything. All right. Same, yeah, same like... thing. With, same thing with. Uh, let's see awareness. So, Moth, Iron Hand, so everyone can take an action except for Tech Marine. Okay, before, I would like to... Before oh. you charge, I'll throw another... I'll throw a crack grenade at it. Alright. Negative 10, right? Just give you guys a fighting chance. Shoot. Oh, no. <laughs> so, it goes wide. That's 80, so I'm not gonna punish you too hard. So it goes wide, blows up next to the hole, does no damage. Mm -hmm. All, All right, right. You... I, I charge in and I roll for hit uh, minus 10, or is it just zero? Could be zero for you charging in zero because they're doing Wait, the aim throughout the grenade. Oh, okay, well, I missed. Is this you charging in to hit it? Actually, but don't I get a plus 10 on charge? Wasn't that somewhere in the rules? Or am I making that up? Oh, you get plus 10. Alright, I'll give you another plus 10. That would make it uh, point, negative point 2. Negative point 2. Sure. Yeah, but that's yeah. enough. Yep. Yeah. You're up next to it. Okay. Uh, initiative, guys. So it's agility modifier. So 1d10 plus agility? Yeah, yeah, 1d10 plus agility, that was it. Sorry, agility mom. Alright. Okay, so, let's see. Oops. I'm gonna turn it over. Did that add you guys automatic? No, it did not. No. Oh, oh, it's okay. Wait, can that technically be clicked? Actually, can... no, I think it did because it. Let's see, because my my guys got thirteen. Uh, let's see what it. No, someone didn't roll. Zeal got. 
Uh, I forgot I have a I have a, uh, a, a, a talent which gives me a one reroll and missed uh, melee Quiet. attack. All right. So since that was a, actually no, that was not. That's okay. That's just a plus zero. This, yep. There you go. Hey, do your damage. Damage. Ooh. Uh, really nice. Ooh. One d ten. So. Fourteen is absorbed of that, so you take off twenty. Four. All right. So that's gonna be that. Yep. Yeah. Twenty one damage. Oh so wow! Four. This thing's really hurting. <laughs> It's and okay. I hit it in the 42, which is, I think, the chest. chest. Yes, that's chest. Yeah, you stabbed that thing pretty deep and it's screeching. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! It's the chainsaw. Okay. So. <laughs> Does anyone have a uh, turn left against the warrior? No. Mm. One I of us. You can spend a fate point uh, if you want to. I mean, no, we, I did just, a, we did get I a just, full near full round of attacks on Bonnet before he could even do anything in the initiative. So. But it, 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 it is near me, and I can just parry its attacks, so we can, like, it's okay. Well, Ish. I was just thinking of just pushing down back to the pit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you're essentially doing that. Uh, Neil Tyron, what's your... What's your uh... Well, you said that everyone gets in attack except me, because my awareness check was so low. Yeah, but you still get an, an initiative roll. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. What's yeah, the initiative again? 1d10, One. put your agility modifier. You're not thinking out of combat just because you, you didn't get a roll on this hit. Yeah, in the surprise round. Seven. Your awareness, awareness is so low that your sensors just stop functioning. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to order these. Hot. Cool. Demon Castier, your, your go. Domingo, Domingo. Damn it. Just go. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. How far away is he from the entrance? You guys are 10 meters from him. 10? Mm -hmm. And I'm currently in close combat with him. Yeah, so I wouldn't... Would not throw a grenade or shoot into combat. Yeah, yeah. I'll just there charge are in. things outside. Closing in on us. No. That's true. And the warrior is about to... Uh, poop, poop, kapook. Yeah. All right. Then I'll uh, use my bolter with select. Uh, bol uh, bolter with a select fire on the uh, uh, her Hermagon on this and the south side. It's um, these are uh, screeks, but yeah, they're essentially her flying Hermagons. Uh, and since I'm doing select fire, it's like what plus was it plus 20? The mm -hmm. select fire. Yeah, my, I'm gonna I'm gonna say they're pretty half. So I'm gonna say minus ten for shooting a flying target here. I'm gonna look that up for specifically for those guys. Go ahead, make your shot. You get plus ten, or you get plus 10. ten. Okay, you get ten. Okay, he's gonna mm -hmm. try, he's gonna attempt to dodge. believe is a agility check. I meant to put plus 10, but whatever. Ah, oh, he failed that. All right, do your damage. And he's dead. Oh. <laughs> he only has 30 lives. Yeah, boom. His armor doesn't even exist. <laughs> landed or are they still flying? Huh? Oh, they're they still land? flying. Ah. Uh, they're, yeah, they're flying above you guys. May I describe how I got him? Yeah, go for it. Describe how you eviscerate this flying asshole. <laughs> I 
As the flying asshole is screeching through the sky, I aim down sights, knowing that I have to fire ahead of him in order to head to hit him. I breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out one more time, and fire the shot. And that that shot goes through the air, hit obliterating its wing, and it fell falls out of the sky. Nice. All right. Uh, let's see. Is that in your turn? Okay. So that's how we got. It's gonna fly up, and it's going to. I still don't see the turn order. Yeah, me neither. Uh, should it be the little icon uh, with the little stopwatch on the left hand side below the yeah, eye? Yeah, it's blank. Yeah, it's, it's just blank. blank. Uh, how do I share this? Uh, that's weird. It doesn't show it to you guys. Uh, super weird. <laughs> Let's see. Ending. I'll try again. Click. Oh, it's only something I see. You guys can't see that. So. That's, yeah. I think we uh, see it last time. Did you? Last time we did, yeah. Because mm. uh, I have no option to share it with y'all. Let's see if I can share it with y'all. Yeah, I don't see any option to share. Weird. I guess you will have to guide us then. Sure. Yeah. 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 So that's the GM as a GM thing. So uh, it already has a descending order. So next one is Hermagons. So the Hermagons going to come down, and it's going to attack the Tech Marine. Oh boy. No, you don't. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. It failed horribly and it landed on the ground next to you. Nice. Okay. This Hormagon comes. It's gonna attack, attack you as well. Ooh. All right, Ooh. can I do a dodge check? Yep, go for it. Oh god. 87. No, supposed to dodge away from his weapons, not into the... <laughs> oh. I Although seem to have you... forgotten how to dodge. Though we are in a bunker, would that somehow affect our dodging skills from outside? Yeah, I'd imagine it gave us ranged cover. Ranged yeah, because they're 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 funneling through. They're swooping in hmm. and attacking you through the entrance as you guys came in. So, okay, okay. Uh, dealing that much damage. Oh jeez. Oh. Penetration three. Uh, let's see what my armor is. So. The fifty-five. So chest. 55 would be body, yeah. So, let's see. Damage 23, penetration 3. My body has... It's the top number or bottom number of this armor? Bottom. bottom number. So, my body has 22 armor. That's 3 pen, mm -hmm. so I take, like, 4 damage. Yeah, you take 4 right. damage. One right. second. Update my wounds. Break. I'm still not 100% sure how wounds work. It's essentially like hit points in reverse. Yeah. So, if you have... Let's say you have zero wounds, then... Then uh, you're in perfect condition. Yeah, but in this game, 
I'm making it so that the wounds are, uh, like, hit points. Act like normal hit points, because otherwise it doesn't you do display that, your health bar properly. Except if you do that, that overrides your toughness. What do you mean? Uh, the, the health display, well, if you click on your token and you modify that number, that number is your toughness. And so you basically modify your toughness instead of making it your health. Well, it depends. Yeah. If you go to your character sheet and you look at your toughness, it will be like whatever wounds you put in or whatever. Yeah, and that'll be in bar one if you look at the settings. Mine doesn't do that. Mine did that at one point and then it got fixed somehow. Mm. So I right. don't know. I guess you can just write it down and well there is a separate wounds sheet in your character sheet if you go to weapons and talents. Yeah. So you can just add wounds to that. Alright. Is that uh everyone's everyone's turn its turn? Hold on, let's see, and you're going to be taking 1d10 Toxic Train. Who, me? Sorry, what was that? 1d10 Toxic. <clears throat> let's see. Go a little away from your mic, book. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, let me, let, me look, let me look that up. Given Toxic Train. One second. Uh, we'll go to the next guy, though. Karnoth, you're up. I'm up. All right. I swing at it. Uh, where is it? There you go. You swing at purple guy? Yes, I do. The funny purple guy my... from FNAF. We got a 69. There you go. That was my uh, reroll failed hit. So that makes me do that much damage. Holy shit. That's a lot of damage. Does that kill yeah, it? Yeah, it's bad. I did get a 10, but does that kill it? How much? Oh, yeah, he's dead. Uh, you're, yeah. yeah. Just one glance, he's dead. Yeah, I'm going to describe how you kill him, because, yeah, he had like 10 health. Um, All right, so uh, having already pierced his abdomen uh, prior, he's. Uh, and then I, uh, I turn around, like I try to feint a strike and uh, finish it off, but it blocks it. So I go from the other side and just do like a uh, diagonal uppercut and just uh, slash it in half. Nice. Okay. Um, since that warrior is dead, I can't really, yeah, I can't do much. I'll stay here. Yep. In, in my turn. Uh, yeah, I'm Tech Marine. I'm um, looking at the toxic trait. You have to do a toughness save, minus five to your pe penalty for that. For every point so for every uh, point damage suffered, minus five for every point suffered. So that's damage. minus you twenty. Suffer how much damage? I you okay? suffered minus twenty. Four damage. Okay, minus twenty. Oh my god. And you're going to take an additional. Uh, nine damage. Oh, wow. Shit. Oof. The armor has failed you. Yeah, you get no reduction from armor or toughness bonuses. You just take that straight. That's straight. Oh my god. Oh, you, you can try Pain. to yeah. roll that. Uh, the fate point if you want. No, it's it's fine. Are you sure? That's wounds. Oh. Yeah, that's great. That's because I'm looking at no. Yeah. Uh, 1d10 points of impact damage to target with no reduction from armor or toughness bonus. You, you're, you're just eating shit. Oh. Also, keep shit mind, sandwich. I can only heal... I can only heal a wound one time in the field. Alright. Hey, Tech Marine, it's your, your go. Did I get so, skipped? No, you're on the list. Your number, you, what was your roll? Five? Thirteen. Oh, yours was thirteen. Oh. 
I had it at five for some reason. Okay, so your go, Moth. We'll do you and then him. So you did get skipped because you're supposed to be Karnoth. Karnoth, or uh, you then Karnoth. Yeah. So who's going? By the way, yeah. By the way, I was yeah. supposed to use the warrior variant for these guys, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to kill you guys too bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, uh, I, the these are baby since we're down our warrior destroy yeah i looked looked up and i was like oh shit we're like a big shit but then that happens <laughs> no 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 i i was like eh, i'm not gonna do too much against y'all i'm trying to be fair here because that does hurt yeah i guess i'll open fire against that guy in the middle there what you're not gonna heal me <laughs> now when we got shit this close, no? Oh, okay. Hey. Three shoppers. Okay. He's gonna attempt to dodge one of them. Ooh. Mm. Dodged one. So the first so you get one shot on it. Your third shot. Do your damage. Okay. You can make a 1d10 roll to, if it's a uh, bolt pistol, if it's tearing. Is. Don't think it says, it doesn't look like it has tearing on his. It does. It's a special. Oh, it does. A... Oh, okay. Damage that. And it's the same damage anyway. Alright. And then now it's Tech Marine. Alright. So I want revenge on the guy who just attacked me. So. And just fury. <laughs> yeah. So I trained my uh, Stardust Bolter on him in uh, point blank range. Yeah, uh, you get plus, what was it, plus, plus 40 on plus that? 30. Actually, yeah. I'm going to do plus my 30. bolt, I'm going to do my bolt pistol. So it's, uh, it's a plus 30? Plus 30, yes. Holy shit. Nice. Roll the nine. Good. I forgot the... Okay. I forgot we get bonuses in close range. Yeah, I forgot to. I just remembered right when he said, I was like, oh yeah, close range. <laughs> Well, that would be right. useful a few times ago. <laughs> you, you still hit. I think all of you all hit. So, Boko, are you going to do a dodge check, or should I just do damage? Uh, oh, yeah. Let me do that real quick. Bolt pistols can fire in a three-shot burst. Can, can they? they? Yeah, mine does. Okay, I'm going to do that then. Oh, he's going to dodge. He okay. can only dodge one, so... Holy shit, I rolled a four. He dodges <laughs> one. <clears throat> and then go ahead, do your damage. Oh my god. Wait, that's two hit. Hey, what's the damage total on that? 13, not 5 yet. pen, and 15, 5 not, pen. Not, not, not yet, you need to reroll. Oh, okay. You need to 2d10. Oh, yeah. A D10 and a D10 to yep. replace yeah. damages. Alright. So I got a 7 and an 8. So that make the first one... 7 and 4 and 8. 16. And then the second one would be... Uh, plus 4. 19. 19. Total damage? A lot. <laughs> One, the exact number. Okay. <clears throat> Sixteen First. pen five, and then uh, nineteen pen five. Nineteen pen five. Sixteen and then nineteen so each of five pen. Oh, it's dead. Nice. So go it's dead. Go ahead. Grab how you kill this thing. Uh, after recovering from being hit with the monster, I pull out my bolt pistol and. Uh, 
fire two rounds, one in the chest, one in the head. The round that impacts this monster's head just blows his face off and he falls backwards dead. <laughs> nice. All right. Domingo, you're up. I'm up. All right. Oh, yeah. So, so uh, the warrior is still alive? Where is it? Where the warrior is dead? super dead. Super dead. And one of the flying... Uh, yeah, that's is also there, so one more left? Yes. Yep. All right. Well, I'll fire it with a uh, bolter full burst. And that's plus 20, right? Yeah, you have plus 30. Yeah, because these should, guys are like... Plus 20, 30 is point blank. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but they're, so, they're on the ground getting to, towards you guys, so... Okay, so you said plus 20? Go for it. Okay. Plus, plus your additional, what, 20 from your auto fire? So it's... 40. 40, you plus 40. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. What have I got? That, so... Was that 100? Was that Wait, another 100? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Hold up. Oh no! I got one more. You're oh, in wait, for I it. It's the wrong one. I, I don't think you have one more. I think your gun jammed. You got oh, I think it's more than that. Uh, you also want? You gonna use a fate point for this, or are you gonna allow me to do my magic here? No, 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 no fate point, please. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Holy shit! All right, try again. Imagine rolling a 100. Yeah, because I would have had, I, I would have had your like gun explode and hurt a hurt a bunch of y'all. Things would have gone magic. Cause like ah, it's two rolls in a roll one hundred. Magic's gonna happen with your auto fire. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Uh, Can you roll another one. Yeah, do another attack. Yeah, you, you, it didn't happen. Fate point and stopped it oh. from happening. Look at that. Oh my god. Roll one you more get, since I skipped that. Don't you draw do three or are you doing full auto or whatever it was? You draw yeah, out. three. Yeah, just do all three. Ooh. Much better. Do your damage. Yeah, it's super dead. It's cold. <laughs> uh can I do an a what is it investigation? Do we have an investigation check? No, we don't. I guess just uh, perception. Can I look down in the hole and determine whether there's more turnits coming? Go for it. There is an uh, evaluate. Evaluate. And uh, hey, tech oh, marine. Yeah. Do do another uh, toughness check. Uh oh. Modifier. It'd be the same. It'd be the same as last time. So minus, minus twenty. Minus... Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. Okay. So and then you take. Man, I'm actually in trouble. Seven points of damage. <laughs> Seven oh. points of damage. All right, that brings me down to two hit points left. How many hit points do we have? Was oh, he still poisoned somehow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Apothecary, Apothecary can you cure my poison? Yeah. Uh, well, I guess well, I'll that's... get on doing that then. Well, that's happening. I rolled my perception check and I succeeded. You succeeded? Okay. Uh, you're able to scour around the area in this bunker. You see no no more pests coming. Uh, Moth, you're able to uh, stop the poison on him. And you're able to take All a right. sample of it. You get, you get two vials of the toxin for whatever you oh. want to use it with. Ooh. 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 Is there, there any, uh, any other... No. I guess I'll uh, get to healing a wound, and then I guess. Are there any more uh, baddies coming? 
No, I'm not that you see. As far as you're aware. Toby, right. do you happen to have uh, toughness? Or that... Uh, what about toughness? Trait that makes it so you... Yeah, do you either have Hardy or Auto Sanguine? Which one do you have? Uh, do you have any of those? Which one, sorry? Hardy or Auto Sanguine? No, I don't have either. You gain one wound back. Okay, so how many wounds? Three. Alright. Well, minus whatever the poison also gave you. Wait, minus whatever. Wait, so you revert to poison? I had two right. poison ticks on me. I was more than that. You would have eventually died, but. Okay, here's a question. Does each one of those poison ticks count as a separate instance of dealing damage? Hmm? Oh, you'll find out. Are you going to investigate the file there? Oh my god. <laughs> no, I, it's important to know because I can only heal one time per instance of damage taken. So if they count as separate instances of damage being taken, rather than the same as the. Oh, first you talking about you talking about you talking about the the first hit, second hit? Yeah, they're two different instances. Like tick, okay. tick, 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 I tick. I do another two checks on it. Then. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Are you doing? What are you trying to do? See if there's any more poison in them or something? Uh, no. Um, actually, removing wounds. Oh, okay. So, you you get three wounds removed. All right. Is that total? I can't do anything else. Yeah, total. All right. I can't do anything else until you get back to the ship or take more damage. <laughs> All right. I'm oh not in good shape. All right, uh, Tech Marine, investigate that vehicle. See if it's you no, know, like, in good condition to be operated. All right, I'm going to do a tech use on that vehicle. Modifier. Ah, uh, twenty. Plus twenty. Mm? All right. I'm gonna go check this other bunker. I want you, with Tech Marine. I join you joining, uh, searching through the second bu bunker. Oh my god, I rolled an exact zero. Well, that's a success. That's a degree of success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, your guy goes over there, you see a giant plasma hole straight through the engine block. It's not operational. Can I roll tech use oh. to try and repair? Go for it. Modifier? A hole in it. I can fix that. Giant asshole, it's about the size of a man, straight may, to the engine block. May I assist in some way? Go Modifier? Negative 50. Or, oh. yeah, negative 50. Oh, jeez. 20. I would also get a minus 50. Sure. Yep. Yep. Negative 14. Oh, my God. I wrote a 94. See. Oh, yeah. As you're messing with it, you, you start to hear a, a kind of a tick, 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 tick noise. Uh-oh. It's a bomb! Get away! I run, like, I get away. Yep. Yeah, it, I... It goes, it goes boom. <laughs> you guys go away from it. Jeez. Was it a loud boom? Pretty loud. Fuck. You guys gonna stick around or you guys gonna uh, we're ahead? searching the south bunker while they were screwing with that tractor and pulling it up. Yeah. Okay, okay, what should we roll here? Awareness? Perception? You can roll whatever's strongest for you guys. You find nothing of use? No, nothing. Uh, you find nothing real of you. A bunch of dead bodies, um, some blast holes everywhere. There's nothing of use in this bunker. Is one of the person we're looking for? No. Alright. 
Oh, right. Uh, I the, go outside and meet with our team. Yep. Yep, the direction is still, still going to be this general direction. I guess we just keep going in that direction. Yep, There's you guys are... Yep, yep, you guys are yep, you guys are in a ravine, so it's kind of like a narrow passage ravine type thing, he heading to some... a valley. Mm -hmm. Uh, there were mines on the north side. Can we check for mines on the south side, too? Sure. Is that I'll check awareness? for mines. Yep, uh, tech use. Yep, you know there's mines over this way. You don't find any mines, Garnolf. <laughs> he gets told no. by the rest of us. Uh oh. You really don't see any mines, Mingo. Oh wait, that's tech use. Sorry, I got the There are mines over here. So it would be. Sorry. There, there you go. This is my tech use. Oh. oh man. Let me save for it right there. You guys going down the ravine? Okay. Yep. yep. Yeah. Where's that? Give me one second. I got to read something a lot to you guys. You guys are going through a ravine. In the distance, you do see what appears to be uh, possibly a mag train station. You guys making your way towards that? Yeah. This is good yeah. idea. Should we um, figure out how many experience we got from that? Oh, you guys want to end it here? Oh, no. Oh, okay. No, I don't know. Oh, you have a new thing. The new portrait. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Stupid thing. There it is. Alright, as you uh, round a gap in the crags, you see an opening area carved in the rough terrain, uh, dominated by an L an elevated mag train rail running east to west. The rail is high and silent. The characteristics of hum and its operations still and absent. Mm -hmm. How much time approximately has passed? About 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Okay. So we're down to what, three hours left? Mm hmm. Meet your characters Three. on the battlefield. It's a huge map, holy oh. shit. Yeah, oh yeah. Three and a half, actually. I think because like last time it was like four and fifteen or something. Whatever. So we enter a station. Yep, enter a station. For who am I missing? Oh, uh. uh yep. Did I not put you on the battlefield? Thought I did. I don't see anything. I roll a perception Happy. check. I see it. Uh, awareness check. Do you see yourself, I'm author. Yeah. Uh, what'd you get? Not a success. Okay. You don't see anything. I'm gonna roll an awareness oh. check. You, you see, you see, you're on the, the train. Yeah, here's the train station. You see the kind of the entrance and underground, the rail line. Yep. You don't see anything either. 
So you guys push I forward. Am, I am going to continue tracking our guy. Yeah, yeah. See if I okay. uh, can't find a, where he's gone through here. Alright, I will follow you. Any modifier to that? Um, plus 20. You can definitely tell someone's been through this area. You see, like, mud footprints. Which way did they go? They go... Into the railway. Yep, into the underground railway. Into the railway we go, then... Oh. Does not see you. Is that, a, is that a homer gone to see? Mm hmm. Okay. Just, it's just chilling there. Staring the at the wall. The corners. Staring at the wall. Okay. Let's check our, Let's check the corners. <laughs> We have a melee guy run in and take cover from the <laughs> side there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Stealth check. You trying to look around the corner there? Yeah. All right. Stealth. How does stealth check work? There's a stealth. Uh, silent move. Yeah, silent move. Sorry, silent uh, okay. move. Okay. Yeah. Any fire? Uh, plus ten. Okay. You're able you're able to peek around the corner, so go ahead and you can look down that hallway to the uh both up and down. Can so, I see those uh creatures? Yep, this is what you see. You know they're termagants. What do you see? How many? There are three termagants. To the north. And south. Mm -hmm. And south. Two more hermagants. Or sorry, there's two hammer guns and two guys with guns. Hmm. Four guys. Four to the south guys and with, three to the north. Yeah, three guys with guns in north, two in the south, and two hammer guns. Are they purple guys? No warriors in sight. All right. Okay. I have a crazy plan. We, uh, before you can do your crazy plan, we do know that there's nobody in that direction. Supposedly, that's just turned infested uh, part of the station, so we don't need to go there. Now, the footprints well, Our footprints went this way. Ah, okay. Our, our, right. our quarry is bad. Are we He's... sure it's human footprints? Yes. We just saw okay. wood, uh, wood footprints come into here. Oh, they hit mm. south? Then, okay, what was your question? <laughs> uh, two grenades to the north, two grenades to the south, and then we open fire the dude across the way. Uh, another uh, another thing I would propose is to uh, alert them and just funnel them in here and make a kill zone in this, in this location. That could work. We could just pop behind these walls up here and shoot another. that guy across the way. Yeah, we can. But or we don't know what else is in this area. I guess is the only yeah. downside to that. True. Yeah, and we don't know who, what, where. We don't know the corner here as well. Yeah, we don't know if there's anything over here. We don't know if there's anything back here. And we have two heavily wounded space marines currently in our squad. Yeah, they, they should hang back. Although their weapons just might explode right down there. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, as a, an assault marine, I can uh, attack that dude we see. And potentially, if there's a melee uh, turret somewhere up, up there, I can protect myself. But, yeah, I don't know. So you go across and fight that guy, and then 
we take out the zoos to the north and south. Which could be a plan. Uh, I guess the tech marine can use grenades to throw them instead of firing. I can. In, in the safety of the cover. Yeah, I can try and do My that. little plan here is to ambush them and throw all the grenades at once. Yes. Uh, there could be a problem that less agile members of the squad could not succeed in being still relatively stealthy, stealthy to execute that True. Plan. How do you, uh, Q? Uh, right-click. I think. Yeah, you hold shift, and then you right-click. So... Alright. We gonna roll for initiative? Not I mean, yet. they don't... Yeah, they don't see you guys. So okay. you guys need to drop them. Alright. I guess all right, all right. If we cross the rail rail line to the other side, do they have to run a perception check? Yep. If you're trying to do a stealth like a silent move across. Yes. Mm hmm So that wasn't there a bullet that is going to be useful in this area situation? Uh the fire ones, but we're not fighting warriors. Was the Hellfire rounds? Or yep. was this the Stalker ones I'm thinking of? Like, if you just fire it, fire that bullet, it just reduces the sounds or something. Oh, that sounds like something Stalker would do, yeah. Hmm. I guess we can do it like this that we get into position, uh, and then uh, as, as best as we can, and I could try to sneakily attempt to dispatch of that Tyranid. If that fails, uh, we have already good enough position to throw down grenades down the hallways. Or we can throw the grenades right now. And I can just go in and go, well, sword blazing. You could sneak too. over, we could throw the grenades, and when the grenades explode, you can kill the guy. Hmm. Sure. Then yeah, all yes, at once yes, and two of us be in cover. Um, all right, then I, I guess I should wait for any for health to let loose. I guess I should wait for the rest of you to take cover and do the stealth checks before I do mine. Or or or, or do they need to make stealth checks to get into position? Uh, GM. Uh, everyone has to make a self-check if you're trying to get into position that's going to cross their line of sight. So, I have... It's my power armor history, Cower Not Before the Enemy, which gives me minus 20 to all silent move and concealment checks. Right. So, minus? So you, uh... Yes. Stick back. <laughs> yeah, you, you stick back in the entry hallway here. And then I'll go forward to the other side, about here-ish, I guess. I guess uh, can you go here? Hold on. Uh, can I not wait? Can I not ping? Hold on. Uh, here? No. God damn it, I cannot shoot ping. But uh, opposite side of... Hold left click. Where, where I'm... Where I, I, was fig I was figuring you'd want to come up here so you could get to him quicker. Yeah, I would go there. Yes. I would I would go there and the apothecary could stand over here. Then and where's I... our tech marine going to stand? Behind you guys, I presume. <laughs> I, I was thinking Tech Marine here. I run over here. You fight the dude up there. Up there? Yeah, you, fight, you fight? Okay. I run here. You run about here ish. You fight that guy. I'm in position to fight these. And then we have covering fire over there, should mm -hmm. Since North had fewer people than South. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, let's execute our plan. All right. Apothecary goes first. Oh boy. Success. Let's see, it'd be perception. And what'd you get? 
Five, five degrees. Of... Holy crap. Well, they're a lot further away than I thought they were. So they spot us. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. One dead. One dead. Uh, can we determine which one? Uh, yeah, this one's moving up to you. Investigate what that what that noise was. Okay. One in the south, Hermagon. One in the mm -hmm. south, Hermagon. All right, I'll still try to do a stealth check. Uh, any modifiers or just the plane zero? Uh, uh plus ten. And succeed. Okay. Yep, no, it's just this one investigating what that noise was. So nothing else, nothing spotted you. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess Who I attempt... Oh, wait, no. Oh, never mind. Never Anyone mind. else moving? Are we all good? Oh, I yeah. think that's where we should be, yeah. Should probably right. grenade the guys to the north because we're not going to grenade the guys from the south. So, right. do, you, do you want me to throw a grenade? Uh, can you see the guys to the north? Yeah, I can. So, what okay. I can do right there would probably be the best spot for them. Ah, uh, shoot. Hang on. So what I want to do then is ah uh, crap. Just right. Uh... There we go. So I would like to throw a frag grenade to bounce it off this wall, and then hit these guys. Okay, there's one guy here. There's two guys back here within five meters of each other. All right, I'll throw I'll throw a grenade to, to between these two guys. I'm also gonna throw a grenade. I'm just basically breathing oh, down. No. This, neck. Oh no! Uh, you can use a fade point. You can use a Fade point I'll or leave one it up to me. Because that. that's going to explode in its hand. Yeah, that's a 9 to 6. Yeah, let's do a fade point <laughs> for that. I'm going to burn a fade point. Why do you always get the unlucky rolls? <laughs> Bad luck. Alright, I'm going to try this again. Oh my god. Much better. You got, you got it. You got it. You got it. Acceptable. At least I got it this time. Okay. And th this is going to be simultaneous, right? So, is the Bothic yep. going to do anything in the south? Uh, I, I don't think he's in range for group. They're not in range for grenades. I really shoot him. Uh, let's see. Should 50 roll meters. We only got like a 36. Yeah, roll your head. Oh, yeah, yeah, I need to roll. Uh, yeah, they, all these guys are in range, so. Uh. You use crack or frag grenades? Frag. Okay. They definitely absorb some of that hit there, so that's 20. So as soon damage. as that happens, as soon as that I see, I, I hear the explosions. I uh, attack uh, from behind the Stormagon, I guess. Can I get any bonuses on hit for being still in stealth? No. Uh, yeah, plus twenty. Crap, these are using the old tokens. Uh, actually, that but that does work. What just happens? But Ooh. yeah. Ooh. Oh. oh man! I just <laughs> I, I I just decapitate 
Is this put poor yeah. sod? Sod. Yeah. I'll uh, fire a three shot burst over the, the dude that uh, hurt us to the south, I guess. Once I get the chain paid right. revving through his torso. Uh, What'd you get? All misses. Oh no. <laughs> okay. You shoot wide. Da, 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 all around it. So. Oh, he's squirrely. He's dancing. <laughs> dance, monkey. Not really. Dance, I really dance. Alright. Uh, roll initiative. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, nice. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, we got. Uh, you guys got pretty much all the same rules last time, let's see, except. Must have got eight did. this time. Uh, let's see. You got essentially the same rules last time, Domingo 14. And then Tech Marine got 13 this time. And then Carnal got 9, which is what you got last time, which is kind of funny. So, so it's like our rolls are high today, but those rolls are not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. It's on stuff that doesn't matter. Okay, Domingos, go. Domingo. So, all right. I fire the bolter at the closest dude up north. With a uh, full full burst. Okay. Uh, any modifier? Uh, do you have twenty. Because you're probably gonna get twenty for that, and then they're the half your rate. Yeah, so you get plus plus forty. Sixty. Oh, plus sixty. Well, you said plus forty, so then I have my plus twenty. No, plus, plus forty in total. Oh, in total. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Plus 40 total. So I'm adding plus 20 to your... So... Yeah, okay. Uh, do your damage. Are you shooting at all three of these guys? Or can that thing select new targets? Because if you can, it'd be amazing. I'm going to say I'm gonna say you can yes. there, right? Let's shoot all three. Okay, so... That uh, was a 10. You uh, gotta roll one, once again to hit. Yeah, two are dead. You missed with one, so two are dead. Right. Yeah, so two. Yep, right. boom, boom. All right. And then another 40. Oh, okay. Uh, he is also dead. So all three are dead. So the, between the two grenades and you blasting them, they're dead. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. North is clear. North is clear. So go ahead, describe how you killed all three. I turn to the corner and everything starts to slow down. And each body just explodes in slow motion fashion. Nice. <laughs> So is it my turn or the bug's turn? Because we tied. Uh, uh, it's your turn. That's what okay. that starting order has it as. So what I would like to do is roll for tactics, but there's no there's no tactical thing, so I think I have to just do logic. But what I want to do is figure out tactically what the best move is and then command the rest of the team that way. Well, there's a command. Or, or you can just let one of us know what to do. Let the command know. <laughs> like a tactical marine. I will command. <laughs> I could do that. Yeah, because we so, can have Antius. Because Antius, Antius is still with you guys. So, so is he the one commanding then? <laughs> 
Yeah, he's the one commanding. He's just not. He's just okay. uh, executing with you guys. So he's like a NPC. Since he's not here. Actually, can you tell, can you tell the NPC to check that corner on the right side. Uh, well, he doesn't have that much of a toughness. It's better that I shouldn't do it, but sure. And technically, Chris's character is over here as well. But yeah. Get him on. But if they don't, so. yeah, I, I don't think they're coming back, so I'm going to say their characters died on the drop pod insertion. Yeah. Yeah. It was oh. pretty bouncy. They were trying to it protect us bouncy. from that horde when we were trying to escape of the vehicle. They were covering the hole. No, the they hole. died. Yeah. Yeah, they died. On, they died on impact. Oh, okay, then. Impact. Boom. Since we couldn't recover their bodies, and that already <laughs> happened. <laughs> so I slowed them. Can, can we just say I harvested the, uh, the gene seed gene thing seed? they're carrying? Oh, yeah. Like all yeah. Space Marines have, like, a gene seed organ that need to be recovered. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would say, by default, that's just what you did. All right, then. All right, then. Unless his character decides to come back, then I'll say, yeah, he's back. But I don't want to retcon it. I know for a fact, the librarian, he, he said he wanted to die in Impact. Chris, I'm going to verify. Hey, did you die in Impact or you can play again? If not, he died in Impact, you can harvest Gene Seed. Because we can have him. He was just out this mission. <laughs> Since he's not here. Anyways. Cool. Who's doing what now? Uh, Cold Wars to go. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. There's still bugs. You can yeah, do South has, South has four. All right. So I'm just going to kind of duck around the corner here. And... You can do Overwatch if you want. Well, what I'm going to do specifically is try to shoot this guy. With my uh, Duke starter mine, bolter. That's like a minus 20 with a pistol. Well, I'm not going to do a pistol. Out of range. I'm not doing pistol. I'm doing ah, okay. regular rifle. And it's within half distance, so do I get a thing for that? Yep. Alright. Plus so 20. What's my modifier? Plus 20? Alright. Yep. Plus 20. Ooh. Okay. okay. Very nice. So I'm going to do my two hit roll. Or no, damage roll. Yep. Right, Damage roll. Nice. Don't don't forget to reroll. Okay. All right. So is that an automatic fire or what is it? Uh, I've got it on semi-auto right now, so it does 17 damage. Uh, but since you have five degrees five of success, pen. you fire five shots. Like oh, every really? every degree of okay. success is a shot. I thought that was only when you're firing with auto burst. With auto burst, you gain one more. Uh, like for like five uh, degrees of success, you gain like six shots. So am I in full auto right now? Well, you said you were single no. fire, so I don't think that applies. No, but single fire is like every well, like, like every de well, well, you're in range. Every degree of success means like one extra hit, I presume. Right. So. So go ahead, uh, five more damage. So he's like super dead. Because I remember that's how it worked like in the previous sessions. No, he was yep. he was always firing automatic when he did that though. Well, that's also true. Oh, that's true. Shot but I was just say, we're just gonna kill this guy because he didn't have much health to begin with, so he's super dead. So go ahead and describe right. how you kill this guy with your bolter. So, ducking around the corner, I grab my bolter and uh, fire several shots down range. Many of them ricochet off the walls, but then hit him anyway. And uh, one by one, each of his limbs explodes into pink mist. And then his head and torso just fall to the ground. And he's dead. <laughs> nice. Mm-hmm. 
Bug's turn. He's gonna move. Let's see, how far away are you guys? Oh, yeah, you're outside of range, that's for sure. Okay. He is going to move up. He can move, what, 36 meters? All these guys. That's a long time. It is. It's a train. The, the the book said train. Well, I made a train. <laughs> All right, Karna. Is it Karna? Doesn't seem right. Hold up. Descending. Bug, bug, bug. Karna. Yep, Karna. You're up. Mm -hmm. All right, that's me. Well, since I am yes. in this, uh, can I use an awareness check to determine whether there is a someone in that sewer as a free action? You trying to do what now? I'm just trying to determine whether, whether there's anyone in that uh, direction uh, where I'm facing right now. Okay, go ahead. Do awareness. Free, free action. Yeah. As a free action. All right. Uh, awareness. Oh, My fire okay. Zero. I understand how semi-automatic works now. How does it work? Okay, so each weapon has, if it has semi-automatic, it should have a rate of fire listed in the column next to it. For the pistol, it's uh, three. Every two degrees of success on your roll gets an extra hit, but you can't hit more times than your rate of fire. Mm. So Tobler did get Two extra hits off on that. It would have gotten three hits. It's still, it's still it's still super dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like I'm, I'm just saying. I I was rolling like three shot bursts because sure. I thought that's how that worked. It's not how that works. It, I should have just been rolling one, and then the degrees of success determine how many more you get. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Hey, we're having fun. All learning. That's all good. My bad. Uh, awareness. All right, I am not aware. <laughs> Big blood, black void. Uh, as far as you, there's spooky monsters that way. That's all you know. Oh, big spooky monsters that <laughs> uh, way. Then I just stand my ground, like, holy shit, no one comes down this way. <laughs> I was frightened. <laughs> and I, I end my turn. Okay, uh, Sylvester Zeal. Radio. I guess I'll start shooting at these guys down here then. Range, how far away are you guys? Oh boy, this is gonna be so fun. What's, what's the rate of fire of a regular boulder, by the way? <laughs> uh, let me look. Jeez. Let me My gun up. doesn't jam, but I don't hit anything. Damn. You'll be fortunate. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to look at the armory. So what'd you get? A 90? Oh, yeah, your gun jams. It does not. All right. Uh, Semi-auto burst jams on a 94 or lower or higher. Oh, okay. So you, just was my, we, miss, you missed wildly. Goes way off. Bounces off the walls. Domingo, you're up. Shooting over tech or rate of fire of a bolter uh, semi automatic is two. You can step automatic four. You can step to the yeah, you can step to your left uh, this way, or yeah, it would be right your left, and then you could fire just fine. That way, you don't fire can't, through your friend. Can't you just like take his bolter and rest it on my shoulder and then fire it from there or something? <laughs> You're you're freaking tall. That ain't happening. So, all right. You can kneel down. Yeah, my name is <laughs> Neil. You is it possible? Yeah, but he didn't kneel down. His gun. Is it possible to yeah, it's not... go to the center like this and then prone? Yeah, he he can prone down his turn, and which is his turn coming up next. So he can prone and like me to do that. If you guys want to do that? That's a heavy bolter you have, right? Yeah. I do. Oh, that's uh, not happening. That's right. That's not happening. Yep. That's a big ass chain gun, dude. That has, you're not resting on no one's shoulder. Yeah. Also, just so you yep. guys know, yeah. the rate of fire on that thing is only automatic and ten. Holy oh my shit! God. I, uh, 
I do not understand what word he said. Uh, a 10, a red of fire, and it's only automatic. Oh, for the heavy yeah. bolter. So what if I just take out the heavy bolter and then put it down on the ground, then prone? I mean, you, have a giant, uh, you have a giant backpack attached to your back. There is ammo. a thing to brace for using a uh, heavy weapon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but you uh, need bulging muscles. But oh, uh, but everyone has bulging muscles, as in the stories, don't they? Oh, yeah, what does that do? Yes, they do. Which, uh, like, normally you gain minus thirty to uh, bracing, but since you have bulging muscles, uh, you can fire heavy weapons and semi-auto, and you don't get the minus thirty to bracing. Oh. So I literally can just stand there and just use the heavy bolter with no penalty. And he can use it in semi auto. Yeah, you can semi auto attack with that thing. That's nice. Alright. Well, I'm gonna stand in the middle of the tunnel, like where I'm at right now, mm -hmm. use my heavy bolter. Uh, with yeah, big ass minigun. Not... You're the Terminator. <laughs> that gives you an uh, <laughs> uh, image in your head what it looks like. Alright. Um, so. Any modifier? Uh, they're at half distance, aren't they? Let's see. Yes, they're at half distance. They get. Hasta la vista, like baby. Holy shit, plus four. And your character could probably say that too. <laughs> yeah, but this is... I need to refresh my screen. Give me a second. Hasta la vista, Zenos. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Where is yeah. Sarah Connor? <laughs> you said plus forty. Where's Bagus Biologies? Uh, okay, do you do damage? How many bit damage do I do? Uh, actually, what, yeah, what is the. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. Suffer no, not to like, leave what, the Xeno! What would be the rate of fire for a semi auto heavy bolter then? Zero dash dash ten. No, yeah, you but can't. That's like you automatic. Can't, okay. You can't semi-auto heavy bolter. He, he can, because he has yeah, the, so every space cool marine has a talent, which every space marine has a talent called bulging biceps, which allows them to uh, fire heavy weapons. I think, I think well, hold on, does everyone has it? Hold on. It's a talent called bulging muscles or biceps, which uh, allows you to uh, fire heavy weapons in semi-auto. It's not much point in doing that anyway. Bulging muscles. How many damage should I just do it since I'm doing full auto? Yeah, you'd hit all of them, I imagine, with full auto. So three damage then? What? Like three points of like three rows of damage. Oh. Means. How many rolls of damage do I do? That is a good question. Yes, that's what I've been trying to figure out. Heavy bolter is what, rate of fire 10? And then yes, you have... Of automatic is rate of 10. Yeah, but he's, oh, yeah, he will be firing of, automatic, yeah, right? Yeah, probably three times. Yeah, so it's, uh, or was it every degree of success he rolls damage? Oh, oh, right, for every semi-auto. Full auto burst. Full auto burst is what it should be, yeah. Oh my god. Game plus 20. To your attack. Each degree of success scores an extra hit. Number of extra hits scored in this cannot exceed the weapon's fully automatic rate of fire. Oh, there is, you go. so four you gain, hits. Yeah, four hits total. Yeah. Four hits total. Mm -hmm. All right. Holy shit! I got that ten. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh my god. Roll again. Plus forty. Hey. Oh, that's interesting. If you're using a pistol or a basic weapon when you full auto burst, you can also. That'd be. Yeah, that'd be what two damage. <laughs> okay, so go ahead. Oh and my describe, god! Describe how you kill all three of these guys. Just. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Do it, do it again. Do it again. Yeah, let's just let's see how far you can take it. I'm just curious. These all three of these are guys are dead. <laughs> 
Okay. So, so for uh, every one. Of oh, them. Uh, how many? Uh, you said up to up to ten. Oh. So one, two, three, oh, four, four five, six. Oh, regular. Okay, so the heavy bolter can keep firing. Yeah. Okay. You can replace that with the heavy one. Okay. That's three then. No, so like uh, okay. once you fire once, you do like your initial uh, burst. For every degree, like for every ten, you roll one extra hit. Ah. Okay. And so for every hit that you've made so far, you can roll a d10. And if any of them contain 10s, you can roll again. <laughs> oh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 60, 10. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it shows, a, it shows a little green icon over your damage. No extra 10s, unfortunately. No extra 10s, but yeah. It's still pretty right, far. So go describe... Yeah, they're all super dead. So go ahead and describe how you kill every single one of them. Because that damage just exceeds all their life. Uh, yeah, because each yeah. one has like 30 points of damage. So that's right off the bat. The first one nearly kills the first one. Second one, damage rolls, kills that one. Uh, dead, and then dead in the last one. So go ahead, describe. The attack in Apothecary takes back into cover. I grab my heavy bolter and stomp into the middle of the uh, tunnel. And I just go to Terminator style, just start running, firing everything I got with the heavy bolter. And just, and they, these guys just received a rain of fire. <laughs> <laughs> Hasta la vista, Zenos! Got him. That plan went pretty well. Two two rounds, you uh, eliminate all those guys, at least in that immediate area. Jeez. All right. <laughs> Damn. It's all about how well right. you roll. And I did nothing. I said, too bad their weapon didn't explode. I'm still staring <laughs> at this vent, just in, like, yeah. in fear. Damn. You got to shoot, Moth. That's something. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I missed horribly. <laughs> Damn. Speaking of which, we all might. All right, what are you guys doing? It's the sewer sealed. Yeah, it's sealed. There's yeah. So making sure it's sealed, I come back. I'm assuming you guys are reloading naturally, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess we follow the tracks, the the, the human Southward tracks. Southward ho, I guess. And I lead the way. Do we want to take it stealthily, or...? We don't see anyone, and we don't see any diverging paths so far, so we can just walk normally for now, maybe. Yep. I'll let you know, I'll let, yeah, I'll let you know when you encounter something. Once we turn to the corner, we might consider stealth. We should probably just stop right here and then start assessing. All right, so awareness check. I guess, or, or what do you mean by yep. assessing? Well, let's assess and listen in to see if there's anything in the corner and have one of us probably peek to see if there's anything there. Okay, you're not aware of anything, any dangers around you. You just see a dark tunnel all around you. Same thing with you, dude. You're aware of a dark tunnel. And same with you, Neil. It's about a dark tunnel. Moth. You affirm you guys are just in a dark tunnel. You don't see anything. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. All right. I guess I'll sensors. Uh, peek around this corner. Then. Well, I mean, they guys got good rolls, so. But yes, you can't even hardly trust your damn visors. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
We're doing not the same thing here. Yeah, we got this previous corner. We got contact. <laughs> I, can, I can I can see him from here. There's a guy right there. Oh. I guess we succeeded in uh, determining there is someone. Right. Yeah, Anyone so, uh, see further the down the tunnel? Yeah, I'll peek around the corner see if I can't see anything more. So stealth check, I guess. <laughs> uh oh. What's over here? What'd you get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead, roll. Roll for initiative there, Moth. Or just Moth. Just Dead. Moth, they don't see you guys. Neil actually succeeded. Wow. Yeah, I succeeded yeah. with a minus 20. So, let's see. Does uh, uh, our apothecary realize he is being. Uh, Detected right now. Oh, well, late. Uh, I guess you can roll awareness. I mean, I think I'm super stealthy with that 80. Oh yeah. Okay. Then, then yeah. Then don't do anything. Yep. Hey. So oh, these guys are gonna come charging at you, Moth. I don't see Moth's vision. Is that is that okay? I don't either. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's someone. What's the bugs to in order? Or do we all roll for initiative? Just moth. Uh, just moth. moth. Okay. Oh, so is it my turn then? Yep. Alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna hit him with a flamethrower. Ooh. <laughs> in an enclosed space. <laughs> uh, they have to make an agility check. I'm gonna fire my flamethrower. Oh, they can't do a barrel roll in this tunnel. I think, it's, I think it should be like a minus 10 because they're so close, but I'm not sure about that. Oh. Uh, oh. Yes. That's one. Aww. Oh. Well, one hardly catches on fire. Oh, there's one more in there. There's four. Uh huh. Did I need to, to, to do two checks, or was it like a different attack? Uh, yeah. If they fail the first check, they have to do a second check to not be lit on fire. Uh oh. <laughs> well, two are horribly lit on fire. Is that all right? Yep. Well, no. They, they, they get to make a second check to avoid being lit on fire. But the, uh, the uh, two that failed take that? the damage. That... Yep. Okay. They take 15, both of them? Uh-huh. Penetration 3. Okay. Okay. So then definitely the two that okay, failed uh... also have to do another agility check. Same thing to make sure they don't get lit on fire. Seeing how our apothecary is using his flamer, can I uh, intervene? Yes. Uh, like... So those first two guys, they they drop dead. They're horribly mangled on fire. <laughs> nice. I quickly charge and I stand right behind him. I guess I roll for initiative as well. Yep. Roll for initiative, guys. So I'm sure you're all nice. charging in the combat. Ooh. Ooh. We're on for Arnold, mission. Uh, four yep. Neil got a seven. I can just say number from the third time. Wow. <laughs> nice. Rigged. Actually rigged. Oh, but Karnov goes 
first because I guess it's sorting it by agility or something. So Karnoff, then Domingo. Sure, I guess. Um, Let me actually enter her in and see them first. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I just... Uh, actually, what do I have? Uh, I'm surprised. Yes, recover damage. For sure, charge. I guess I just charge in. Wait, hold on. I need to uh, quickly check a talent I have. Oh, yes, right. I was, I forgot I had this talent this whole time. Whenever I make a charge movement, I have a talent called Berserk Charge. I gain, instead of a plus 10 bonus to my weapon skill, I gain a plus 20 bonus to my weapon skill when charging. So. Nice. Plus 20. Oh, I'm blind. God damn it. <laughs> um. Since that's a can heavy, re -roll? Uh, that's a, yeah, I can reroll. Ooh, there you go. I hit. That guy's Holy dead. shit! That's a lot of damage. Super dead. Hey, can it be said that the next that the guy next to him is in melee range? Actually, no. I cannot do two two attacks in a row. No, that's it. Why did everyone that's just gray it. out? Screen. Yeah, also, we also all gray out. Yes. Yep. All right. Yeah, I I, I can only charge and attack once, so that's it. My, in my turn. All right. Uh, Domingo, go. Let's see here. How's the last hammer gun? Is he like bleeding or very no, hurt? I did, not, I did not hit him That's whatsoever. Good. He's, un he's unt untouched. Okay. I'll do a half move to get uh, closer or actually move to the side. Don't we have this quad thing where we ha can move to 10 meters for free still? Oh, yeah, do we have that? Our squad leader isn't here this session. He's an NPC, so he's kind of just following us. Fine. Yep. Okay. So I can move 10 more meters. Right? I guess. Yep. All right. I'll move to the other side right here so that I can have, I have a line of sight. And use the heavy bolter against the Hermagun. And that's plus 40, I believe, for like whatever. That's close range. Oh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Super dead. Yep. Seven damage, right? Oh my god. Yep. Boom. Nine. Oh, holy, what the fuck? If you're doing it in uh, uh, full auto mode, then. Then seven rolls, I think, yes. That's hundreds of damage. He's dead. I don't think I'm, I don't want to reroll. <laughs> Single part this oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's quite dead. What her my God? <laughs> oh, he sees red mist. Or like a green mist, should I say? <laughs> I don't even yep. think the mist survived. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do I only I emit the light, or does does everyone emit light? Like I see a light emitting from me, like a small light. I do not see that. I don't know if I'm. I'm seeing a red circle around me. Hmm. All right, so it's okay. Everyone has their own circle. Okay, got it. I guess we keep on moving forward. 
Yep. Is, is the initiative over? Yeah, his initiative is over. We don't see any more Termagons, Termagons. Okay. I guess. Oh. What just happened? What did happen? I, I think my vision just... Yeah, my vision is now 20 degrees. Yes. There you go. We don't see anything. Do we do an awareness check? Yeah. I would. Mm. Uh, uh, test track, you there, dude? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? Awareness check? Yeah. I guess it's yep. a do awareness check. Damn, we're all well aware. Okay, so I can I can see the yeah, you're, map. <laughs> by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your sensors, your helmet sensors are all me all messing up as well. You guys are very aware that's affecting you guys again. Mm -hmm. I just have a flamethrower in front of us so we can see something. I mean. Probably sure. don't want to alert those two Hermagons in front of us. Uh, that's true. It's better to take them out from the distance, I think. Are the are the Hermagons aware of us? Nope. They're just staring at the wall. Just banging their head against the wall. <laughs> uh, no, they're just staring at the wall. They're watching paint dry. The uh, subway was newly <laughs> renovated. Are you guys uh, also like looking around you as well with your damage sensors? Are you guys taking your helmets off? To yeah, I'm not taking my helmet off. Just... No. No. No okay. Yeah, same. All right. What are you doing? Uh, you want to sneak up and try and take him out with melee? I mean, it would be probably more beneficial to take them out from afar, but I can try. Well, here's the thing. There's, I see yeah, a there's corner over here. There's a corner here and there's a corner here. Yeah, it would be very risky for me to go in there. Yeah, and this is a great tunnel to just thin them, thin them, thin them out. Yeah. Correct. I guess I'll move up to about here and crouch down, pull out a combat knife, and wait for stuff to recharge at me. So you guys have a clear shot. I will stand behind the apothecary to make a clear shot for others as well. Go ahead, roll for perception, all four of you guys. Any modifiers? Ah, uh, 10? Plus 10? Oh my god. Okay. Lost character in Karnoth, you guys, uh, and uh, who was the first guy here? Castillo. Domingo. Yeah. Ah, okay. You start, you start hearing, like, it sounds like cracking from behind you guys and rustling of rock and debris. Uh oh. Train coming, maybe? Are you able to decipher that? You can look around. See if you see it. You know it doesn't sound good. Uh, Do they notify the us? Uh, yeah, a lot of you know, this stuff coming from behind. All right. Uh, I guess since I'm not gonna be useful in the front, I'm gonna uh, like stand behind. Look at look at behind. Who's back over here? Me. That's me. I'm standing here. No, there's a guy right here. Oh shit. Am I able to see them? Well, I mean, like, I see them on the map. He's, he's, Holy he's, crap. You see them on the map? I can see them on the map. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you see popping out of the walls and the ground behind you guys. Popping out. Mm hmm. Yeah, tunneling. Tunneling out. You see tunnels. 
coming forth. Do they notice us? Oh, yeah. I think they do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys sure want to... Uh, yeah, yeah. You guys want to engage or run? We need to get the fuck out of here. Uh, we need to clear one way. South, uh, southwest. We need to clear that, then run. So we can actually have better, better advantage. Instead of getting entrapped. I feel like we're getting entrapped right now. We we can run. I, I I could run and just charge at the dudes, and we can just like we can just run uh, without stopping. I guess you can say that, and destroy the and dispatch of the two dudes there. We can also just take the hits from them because they don't really penetrate our armor that well. So um, is out then. We can also, since we they are tunneled, we can just throw down grenades and all that, and our buffer can just uh, flame throw over them all. Yeah. They do have a warrior, which is a problem. So, we could it's up to you guys. put crack grenades on the sides of the walls and climb, try to collapse the tunnel, but that we need also need to get us. out. We will also need to get out eventually. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and we do want to tunnel ourselves way. as well. So we might we might want to just retreat to get... Is that outside of the tunnel in the southwest? It's a dead end. Dead end. It's a bend. It's a bend. It's a, yeah, this is a railway. So that's a, this is a bend southwards. So it just turns left. Yeah, it turns up yeah these are just... These are just uh, service ports. Or, uh, uh, you know, they service the railway this way. It's, it's not... The no way in or out to those things. Get out through service ports. We need to check that corner there. Again? If it's a service port, you can get out through it. Possibly. Right? You can check it if you want. Yeah. You can check it if you want. I mean, I'm I'm technically the V fastest out of all of us. I can go and do that the quickest. Yeah, like, there's also go some down. Guys yeah. That you have to deal with. And you're wounded. Uh, but I can uh, defend myself in melee, and they do not penetrate my armor since they're True. only armor guns. So we want to lay into these guys in the north with frags and flamethrowers, automatic fire, or I guess it, we we can do the we can them down. We can we also can just, do that as we retreat backwards. Now. Yes, yes, you can just do that, and I can just uh, try to dispatch of those guys as quickly as possible and clear the way and just determine where to go next. That sounds like a plan. Yep. All right, th then uh, can I just do that? Do we need to roll for initiative? Can what's the, how do we do that? Yeah, go ahead. yeah, yeah. You guys can do initiative? that. You guys uh, saw it and heard it before. No, no. Go ahead, do your surprise round. Throwing, uh, y'all take, y'all take an action. Thank y'all. All right. oh, wait, who failed on perception? Karnoth? And I did fail on perception, okay. but they did tell uh, me. They did tell us about Yeah, that's true. Okay. It was just a... All right, you can all take action. Neil. Rock. Since, uh, I would like to use my... Can I use my jetpack in here? Is it big enough for me to use my jetpack? Oh, yeah. You just can't go up. You can go straight. I mean, it's pretty yes. pretty big uh, causeway, so I guess you could go up. Just gotta be careful. No, I will go straight. I, I would like to go straight. Uh, okay. so, uh, any modifiers? Uh, so my play check. Plus ten. Plus ten. Fuck, I would like to reroll that. I win, I am spending a fate point. It's a point. Oof. <laughs> Your jetpack leaves without you. Oh no. <laughs> More like you explodes. smack your head into the ceiling. Oh, that's going to screw the sensor even more. Oh god. Oh. It's not oh. 96. Right, so you, you kind of land short where you're trying to get to. No, you so don't I quite make like, it. Like halfway here, through. I guess. Halfway. Yeah, about halfway. Where you're trying to get. Halfway yep. through. Yeah. All right. Am I supposed still to run, or is that the end of my action? 
That's your whole act. It, it's, it's full sprint action. You doing that? All right. All right. Tech needs. I think tech, tech just needs to run. Yeah, so that we can have a clearer right. line of sight. Yeah. All right. Tesseract. Yeah. What you doing, man? So, uh, well, what else can I do other than try and get the fuck run. out of here? Yeah, I'm going to run. Okay. All right. I'm going to run towards my friends. What's your full speed? Uh, let's see. Is it, was that like 24? Oh, my man. charge is 12. My run is 24. Okay, move your full 24. Also, Which is like right next to to yeah. deter them to keep uh, sticking in the back. Use uh, my heavy boulder. I think this is a perfect situation for it. Alright, that's my turn. <laughs> my turn is done. Alright, we're still in and uh, squad, right? Technically. Okay. Do your damage. Okay. It hurts Flash all the other guys. Shot. Does nothing for the warrior. Yeah. So that uh, these drop dead. Or I meant to kill the three, not that fourth one. Oh, so this is a horde. Could this be classified as a horde? Possibly. 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 Possibly, you'll see. So. Mm -hmm. All right. What's next? I'll move back a little bit more, but I'll still be uh, in the front lines, and then just fire the heavy bolter. All right. Any modifier? Uh, what was it? Is that halfway from where you're at? Let's see. Who are you aiming oh, at? Yeah. Where you're at? They're halfway. Hmm. What? So it's like plus 40? You aiming at the warrior? <laughs> sure. So plus 40, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Roll. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was really good. All uh, right. Do your thing, that's man. damage, right? Eight damage rolls? Yep. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Oh. I think that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Yeah, like, on one of the roll. Question, question, can, uh, which, like, are, can heavy boulders use special ammunition? I believe so, yeah. I have uh, Hellfire. Uh, oh, I have Hellfire. Oh, I don't think it has which fire pierce, Which pierce, which pierce its natural armor. So it has 12 yep. armor. Yeah, but wouldn't this just yep. fucking kill him? Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. He's super dead. <laughs> uh let's see and with, with that you can also kill i'm gonna say with that damage that, that amount of damage two more are additionally dead for sure like the, they're just super dead well, i do have that plus that 10 i can use that what was it called um it's not true great it was it was something like if we got a nat uh nat 10 we can yeah, you roll once again. Yes, right, Fuser. And for every hit that you've made, you can roll an additional one d10 to replace the the damage. And that's just this one is just an additional damage. Yeah, just, just one additional. additional damage for the hit. And then so I can roll one d10 for every for every hit that you've made. You can roll one d10. Oh, jeez. <laughs> So that's, that's nine. nine. Nope, no, wait, wait. That's ten. You're out of, uh... That's Bullets. all you get. Yeah, so... Yeah. Okay. You got oh, ten it's... hits, man. 
You guys so hit it. So one more dies. Do I just roll one ten d ten since that's the thing? Hmm? You can just roll sure. ten d ten. I don't think it'll do anything. Though. It won't do anything, but it's just I guess. Yeah. We're, we would have just seen like uh, a, we're, we're, we've got a, yeah that's still good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so for for example, for the first one, uh, it's like what one you can replace that one with a four, so you have like seven plus ten, seventeen damage, and like you replace the lowest number with the die you rolled, if it's lower than the die you rolled. Right. Yeah. That's a lot of numbers. Yeah, should we just, in general, just say we just kick a crap off, kill the crap off some of them? A lot of them. Yeah, I think that felt good. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, that's like four dead easily with it that didn't much feel, damage. The aliens didn't feel very good, though. <laughs> no. no, they did not. But I think that's my turn. Okay. So I believe it's my turn next. No, it's a perfect. Uh, you just went. Yeah, it's, uh, you just went. Oh, I did. Guess it's the uh, surprise uh, round. Jetpack boys next. Oh, I'm. Oh, I'm. He already horde. I don't think the horde's gone. Thank you. Thank you. Already did. Thank you. Already did. I, you already did. I was went, the first one. Yeah. He did the half movement. Yeah, he did the half movement. So then the machine gun guy went next, and then... Uh, no, it was jetpack guy, then it was Cobra running, then it was me throwing a grenade, then yep. it was machine gun. So yep. horde, and then jetpack guy. All right, initiative now. Surprise round over. I think, so. yeah, that's all four, four of you guys, yeah. Oh, right, we're, we're running initiative. We're in surprise, yeah. Yeah, that was surprise round. That wasn't co actual combat. That was just you guys doing stuff. <laughs> I forgot about that. So they, yep. So let's see. Sylvester got six. Uh, Carnal got seven. I'm surprised. Oh, I lost my streak. <laughs> got something different now. <laughs> the machine gun hasn't spun down yet, so we can just keep going. <laughs> uh, yeah, you still go first though with that nine. Cause everyone else rolled sevens. Like literally, everyone rolled sevens except for uh, Moth. There, he rolled six. There he I rolled a five. Oh, okay. You rolled a five then. He's even worse than a seven. He goes dead last. <laughs> You're worse than a seven. <laughs> All right. Uh, how many hellfire rounds do you have left? Uh, did I just use my? I don't think I just. I don't think I used my hellfire. I don't last think one. a heavy bolter has a fire selector. Use different rounds. Yeah, that's what oh, I was oh, okay. asking. I just used the normal rounds. I I still have twenty three uh, hellfire rounds. Okay, you're good. Okay, you're good then. So I imagine that would actually, because that, that's a heavy bolter, you'd have to take off the backpack and then load it, right? That's a, that's a full that's, action. You can't just blow. That's more than a full action. That thing's a big ass, massive backpack. So, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. like two full actions. <laughs> well. <laughs> it's like, hold up, I have to drop my backpack, take all the <laughs> ammo out, and then put a belt in again, and then, okay, we're good now. Yeah, I, I did not do that, but I still oh, fired, fired, uh... More, more enough damage to kill everything, yes. Yeah, I'm still gonna fire the heavy bolter towards the Armagon's northeast side. Alright. And that's still within half the distance. Are you so okay plus from 40 that? So still, still plus 40 for modifier. 
Uh, let's see how far you are. So from here to it's here, less than no, they're at fifty. You're what? Still less than seventy-five What's your meters. Range? One fifty. Oh, okay. Then yes, plus forty. Jesus, I didn't know it was that long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, light them up. This is like a death valley for them. Mm-hmm. So that's it's supposed to be a death valley for us, but no. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why four. It's supposed to be. It was a trap. You spawn a trap. Yeah. Because I set up, I set up pre traps for sure. And uh, four, you four demolish right? the first. You're totally not going to buff update the rest of the trap, sorry. <laughs> I mean, this one well, I don't really right? address staying on the fly. Let's see. It's 32. That kills one. Yeah, I'm definitely going to roll 40, 40, 10. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Okay. A sandwich total? 109 on the first one. That would be like 920. That would be 20 on the first one, right? If I just put that 9 in. No, so no, no. So that's how it works is that you have 20, or you have a 12 damage one. So it's one plus one. Mm -hmm. So you, the first, like the, the first eight goes to that uh, hit. So you replace one of those ones oh, with eight. I didn't know, I know, synchronous like that. I didn't know, I don't have a choice to choose. So like, uh, like the first hit goes to the know. first number. Gotcha. I feel like the hit goes to the second number. So, so far. Okay, so. One plus eight, nine. So that's 19, the first one. Let me actually write this down. Because I will forget. <clears throat> Second one. Uh, you replace the three, so six extra damage, so 26. Yeah. The third okay, one. So you kill. So seven, seven plus two, nine, 19. And then 17, so six plus five, 11. Plus 10, 21. 21. That's 85 damage, it, points of damage in total. With six penetration. Or is it not included? Six. Or is it? Uh, that should be included, right? Yeah, penetration yeah. six. Uh, these guys basically, they have like armor, net armor three, so it, it doesn't oh, even oof. calculate with the net armor. Uh -oh. yeah, so. uh, this guy has 18 armor. And uh, oh. let's see. So sixty was, sixty was absorbed by the first two in the first first line here. So you said you did eighty what damage? Eighty five. How much? Eighty five. So there's uh twenty five left over minus uh eight to get calculator out. Twenty five minus eighteen. Seven gets through. Okay. All right. <laughs> Because I'm assuming the warrior would be a preferential target. And kill yes. things, preferential target. Okay. Alrighty. It is now... Why is this not descending order? Karnoth, you're up. Alright. I just charge up against those two Uh, Hold on. Can I do it normally? I am keeping track of my clip for the bolter, uh, bolter because this seems a little overpowered. <laughs> it does seem a little overpowered, yes. Do yeah, you're supposed to keep track of your ammunition. Ooh, yeah, do keep uh, in mind, every time you fire that thing, it's 10 shots. Yeah. Yes. Regardless of how many hits you get, it's 10. So I've used it three times, right? <laughs> uh, we did have a chance times. to reload, but Recently, oh, yeah. twice in a row. So twice, okay. I guess. Gotcha. That means twenty rounds. Cool. Yep. Uh, we still have the plus ten from the squad bonus, right? Yep. All the bonus because uh, Nancy is still around you guys technically. Uh, fuck him up. Uh. Winning. Hit. 
since it's steering, you can do one D turn. Nine, so that's uh, 11, 13, 13 plus 18, uh, 31. 31 damage? 31 damage, I think he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's super dead. Describe how you kill him. Uh, I just, uh, like, since I, I, I kind of... Uh, when I try to leap in with my jetpack, I kind of stumble, but then I just kind of get it myself on the footing, and I just keep that momentum going, and I slam into this Termagon and just basically just kind of pummel it to the ground. <laughs> nice. And Domingos, you forgot to describe your, your uh, killing of the Termagons. Do you want to do that, or do you want to keep pushing ahead? Describe what happened. Uh, I forgot to ask you to describe how you killed those two Hermagons and the warrior there. Well, I want to describe how you lit up that, that hallway. The surprise round in this. Well, all I could really say is just rain down. I could do, my heavy bolter just rain down a hellfire, or not hellfire, um, rain down all of the bullets down the range, and there's nothing, not even a speck of blood exists. <laughs> it was a fireworks show, and then after atomized. Yeah, you're yeah, doing better Hermogons job going. than the Hermogons are going, so they go this way. And this one scurries off. <laughs> yeah, that's just <laughs> into the ceiling. Wait, what? Into the tunnel or into the ceiling? Yeah, into the ceiling. Into the ceiling. The wall into the ceiling. The hammer okay, gun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Crawled up the wall in the ceiling. I mean, you could try to shoot it if you want before it goes up away. No. If you really want to kill that hammer gun, okay. If my action wasn't intimidation. I don't know what will. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was pretty impressive. I was like, <laughs> I was hoping that'd be a good pressure on you guys. Uh, you annihilated pretty quickly. It's like, oh wow. <laughs> Ruining the, the perfect plan. No, you're, no, 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 no. So it has to be a neutral party. It's not a perfect plan. It's, it's good to see you guys succeed against uh, challenges in your way. So, but yeah, they <laughs> they're pulling away. Okay. So I believe it is either Moth's turn or my turn. There's something left. Oh, we're done? Oh, they they went done. full retreat, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Good job. Well, what people. was Good left job. of them fully retreated? <laughs> what was left of them, yeah. <laughs> I can say that the tunnel to the right is a dead end, and we have a tunnel going to the, well, in this direction. My sensor is turned off. I see nothing but darkness. All oh, right. Uncle, are you saying something? Nope. Okay. That's what you're seeing. Yes, I'll light up my flamer, give us a light to see by. Sure. All right, go into that corner southwest. Ah! My token disappeared. It's actually invisible. Uh huh, it's because we have no light. No, but it's like actually invisible. I don't see my. <laughs> it's still there. We just can't see it because we don't have vision. Yay. That is a narrow field of view. Well, no. Yep. Teeny tiny. 
Too bad there's no FOV slider. Yeah, I wish there was. I could mess with it. <laughs> Even faster. Yeah. It'd be funny. Okay, what are you guys doing? You guys proceeding down the tunnel? Yeah. Okay, oh, which one? We have a service tunnel and we have a normal tunnel. Hey, you guys check out the service tunnel. I'm still blind, I can't see anything. Oh. Well, who did we lose? Oh, Dan? I, I, yeah, I had to re rejoin. Okay. All right, what are you what are you doing there, uh, Tech Marine? I'm just taking a look down the hallway, seeing what I can see. Okay. Okay. And then who is investigating the service tunnel? I, I guess no one. Oh, well, I'm, I'm investigating. I w went to the corner to see if see down the down the tunnel. Okay, you open the tunnel. You look down at it, you see it's extremely, extremely collapsed. You just see rubble. On the left side? The or the, the south side? side? The, the service tunnel, yeah. Are you talking about the service tunnel? This tunnel? No, this. Oh, you're this way. Nope, you don't see anything. You see the railway. Okay. Even though I turn into this corner. Yeah, we see a railway. Can you, what else are you looking for? I mean, what's down there? Okay. What do you see on your map? Oh, well, I see three uh, rifled dudes. Same. Okay. Oh, actually, uh, I scrolled way down. Can I still see the, the guys way, way down? Or I'd hope not. To... Oh, oh, please. How far is that? That is very far. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, but I see those three dudes. That's, six, that's 600 meters, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't think we should be seeing that far. <laughs> At least you guys have vision. I'm blind. I can't see shit. God damn it. I got nothing. Yeah, Rock, what are you doing this throughout this whole whole uh you guys telling the tech marine about your guys' problems? Yep. So yeah, I'd yeah. like to I'd like to roll some tech use to see if I can fix the sensors. It's <laughs> just the tech with that. Alright, modifier. Since Uh, let's give you guys a 10. Alright. Minus 4, I think. Is it? No, minus 6. Okay. Go straight oh, zero. Okay. Uh, you're, you know, yeah, you're, you know you're only able to repair these helmets. I mean, they're pretty damn banged up from the drop pod and, uh, crash you guys had. Uh, probably back at the ship you could probably fix it. Uh, one of the helmets you could definitely probably salvage and fix up. And that would be so who's who would blind like their again? vision? Who's what? I have no vision. Who's right blind? Now. I'm gonna fix I Moth's no helmet. I'll fix All Moth's right. helmet because I, I have an idea. What? Can I burn a fate point to fix my helmet? Or burn also a fate blind. point and have Tesseract to be able to fix my helmet? Sure, yeah. But he's he I mean he already rolled a three point six to fix it. He's just well, going to roll the 3.6 to fix a helmet. Yeah, so yeah. let's let Moth use uh, his fade point so I can fix his helmet, and then I'll fix Dan's helmet as well. Okay. Boom. All right. And yeah, then we'll blind. blind. Yep. Uh, which one? Dominguez? 
I'm just saying I'm also I'm also blind. Okay, he's able to parrot as best he can. What's going on? That's two people. Can you see now, Domingus? A little bit, a little bit better. I'm not sure. Oh, I, still see no. I still see nothing. Really? I don't see. I don't see my fingers I, either. I can see. I can see oh. my token, but I have no counter vision. Oh, okay. I have better vision. About twelve meters, supposedly. Yeah, I see nothing around me. Yeah, give me a second. Go. No. Oh. Ooh. Got the beer. There you go. All right. All right. Well, that's what the tech was able to do for you. For you guys. Yep. We'll have to go there. You have to replace these helmets. Mm -hmm. But you got them working at least. For mm -hmm. now. For now. So right, we... Are we at a good stopping point? Do you guys want to continue? I think we're a good stopping point. This, you guys are about halfway through the tunnel. All right. Then that might be a good spot then. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. That way, uh, when Yelmug gets back on, he can enjoy the tunnel too. <laughs> tunnel of misery. Oh, <laughs> we're all sharing the tunnel. He gets Secret his floppy tunnel. seconds. Oh. Secret tunnel. Tunnel just for <laughs> us. Something and die. Mmm, delicious tunnel. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Uh, 300, or let's give you 400 points for this entire session. 400 XP? Okay. Monsters and everything. You... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Because at the end of this mission, you guys are going to have, what, 2800 XP? Quite a lot. Yeah. Well, we did but put two it's warriors. a multi... Multiple he killed multiple warriors. He killed multiple. Multiple warriors. He killed at least ten. And oh. those uh, those screeks were supposed to be warriors, but I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna murder you guys. I, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll make a Hermagod variant. That was painful enough. You almost lost a person with just one. Yeah, That's I got true. poisoned almost to death. Yeah, they're glass cannons. Ah. Uh, I was like, yeah, let's try some glass cannons against these guys. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh, very man. effective. <laughs> like, oh god, that that really hurt. Yeah. Now you gotta fear the flying armor guns. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh. But that that a bolter man, that was just OP as hell, man. You just murdered crap ton of people with that. Yeah. yeah. Because initially, when I set up that corner there, I was trying to, when you guys got there, it was supposed to be a kind of a pressure to keep you guys going down the tunnel as fast as possible. That didn't happen. He's like, nope, we're, we're going to be a stop plug. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, and not. Yeah, my guy just, just destroyed pretty much anything in my path. It's good I got out of its way. <laughs> Hasta la vista, baby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the Hermagons only have 30, 30, 30 HP. That's it. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, they can't resist any of your guys' firepower because you guys all have pen 6. They have 3 natural armor. So. I was like, I don't even calculate anymore when I see when I have Hermagons <laughs> on the battlefield. You guys just. You automatically know you can pen it. Yeah. So. The warriors, on the other hand, no, they, you're gonna kill them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think even even with their toughness, they still only have around three or four. It's, or I think I calculated all that in, but yeah, it's not much. 
Yeah. They're very, they're very squishy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their toughness is zero. Their toughness is zero, so their armor is three. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. fucking... Mm -hmm. Damn. The only reason I chose the heavy bolter was because of the damage. It's the highest one I can find. Damn. In terms of damage, yeah. I'm like, uh, yeah? Yeah, good choice. Why, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm happy and also sad that I didn't kill you in my death tunnel. <laughs> But I'm glad it was well balanced. <laughs> well, I was well balanced. I was going for well balanced and not because if I want to kill you, I was like, well, you guys are going against the uh, what is that creature called? The um, hive tyrant. Yeah, you're going against ten, ten hive tyrants. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Watch it get a righteous fury. <laughs> oh my god. Righteous fury. Righteous fury. <laughs> Wonder if that would be enough to kill a hive tyrant. I'm guessing no. 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 Damn. You just pay for it, baby. Only if it's like very I'm good at... roll seconds. Yeah. Like that video you showed us with the axe. <laughs> yeah. Ten! Oh my god! Another ten! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's and basically then... the hive tyrant. <laughs> That's, yeah, you'd have to do that to a hive tyrant and then throw someone at him to make him sleep. He has wills only one. What? <laughs> yeah. Damn. All right, gentlemen. Well, I will see you all next week. See you next yeah, week. We're going to do uh, Saturday again next week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it, was a, it was a one-off because I had, a, I had a groomer come and then I had to go to... Uh, my friends that smelt down some cans, made yeah. some ingots. It was fun. Ooh. You smelt it, you dealt it. Yeah. You're gonna use the ingots for anything? We're gonna uh, use it for knife handles. We're gonna be making uh, custom knives. We're gonna learn oh, how to shit. make knives. That's. We saw someone else. What they did is they made a two-part um, a two-part mold. They put on the tang of the blade, and then they poured the molten aluminum into that mold. Mm -hmm. And it just, it was the handle of the blade and it looked really nice. They just biffed it up and all that stuff. Because I guess they drill holes in the tank. Or I'll have to look at how they did it exactly to make it be one with the blade. But it was like, it was part of the blade. <laughs> it looks so nice. Because they, they did, they uh, polished up to a high polish and everything. Uh, but I'm also going to be doing jewelry as well. Um, so I got a 3D nice. printer. I got three, three 3D printers. I have 3D print. I don't know if you guys know that. Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, a ring, and I'm probably doing some... I want to do some miniatures and aluminum here. I want to practice on the cheap stuff before I go to my silver, right? Before I go to silver and such. Because that's expensive. <laughs> yeah. All right. I will see you guys next week. See you. Oh, yeah, man. Thank right. you. See you. Yeah. Hey, did you throw up a video of last week up on your Oh, yeah. Uh, YouTube I did. Or... I did. Oh, all right. Sweet. I'm going to put this one up, too. I said to upload now. Awesome. All right. Neat. Later. Later. Later.